Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today we're going to work on the vocabulary review sentences for our anchor text, Gloria, who might be my best friend. It's a story found in Second Grade Journeys, Lesson 22. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper where you're going to write your numbers 1 to 16. Your teacher might have given you this worksheet, and if so, the numbers are already written for you. You just have to put your name at top and fill in each um, sentence with a word or group of words. So here's our learning target. I can use pictures and context clues to fill in the word that best fits each sentence. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at using pictures and context clues to fill in the word that best fits each sentence? Well, here are your steps to success. I will, number one, read each sentence or group of words. I will, choose the vocabulary word that best fits each sentence or group of words. Number three, I will write the correct word on my whiteboard or paper. You don't need to write these. We're just going to read them and review them. A, not. B, heavily. C, copy. D, seriously. E, planning. F, answered. G, lonely. H, guest. Here's our first sentence, number one. The elephant walked so blankly across the field, I could feel the ground move. The elephant walked so not across the field, I could feel the ground move. Or, the elephant walked so heavily across the field, I could feel the ground move. Or, the elephant walked so copy across the field, I could feel the ground move. Or, the elephant walked so seriously across the field, I could feel the ground move. What word fits that sentence best, given our picture clues and the context of where the word is in the sentence? Heavily, H-E-A-V-I-L-Y, heavily. The elephant walked so heavily across the field, I could feel the ground move. The elephant walked so heavily across the field, I could feel the ground move. Number two, I can't believe that you blank the correct number of jelly beans in the jar. I can't believe that you planning the correct jelly beans, number of jelly beans in the jar. I can't believe that you answered the correct number of jelly beans in the jar. I can't believe that you lonely the correct number of jelly beans in the jar. Or I can't believe you guessed the correct number of jelly beans in the jar. What word fits that sentence given our picture clues and the context of where the word is in the sentence? Guest, G-U-E-S-S-E-D. The root word is guess with an E-D ending, guest. I can't believe that you guessed the correct number of jelly beans in the jar. I can't believe that you guessed the correct number of jelly beans in the jar. Number three, my little brother loves to blank everything I do. My little brother loves to not everything I do. My little brother loves to heavily everything I do. My little brother loves to copy everything I do. Or my little brother loves to seriously everything I do. What fits in that sentence, given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? 
copy, C-O-P-Y, copy, C-O-P-Y. My little brother loves to copy everything I do. My little brother loves to copy everything I do. And in this picture, it looks like the little brother is copying the big brother playing the guitar. Copy. The student raised his hand and blank the teacher's question. The student raised his hand and blank the teacher's question. The student raised his hand and planning the teacher's question. The student raised his hand and answered the teacher's question. The student raised his hand and lonely the teacher's question. The student raised his hand and guessed the teacher's question. What makes sense given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? Guessed, or not guessed, sorry, I'm sorry, answered. Guessed has an ED ending, so it could potentially fit, but answered is more specific. The student raised his hand and answered the teacher's question. Answer is the root word and it has an ED, so it means he already answered it, he already said it. The student raised his hand and answered the teacher's question. Answered, A-N-S-W-E-R-E-D, answered. The student raised his hand and answered the teacher's question. Number five, our teacher was talking blank to the students about the class rules. Our teacher was talking blank to the students about the class rules. Our teacher was talking not to the students about the class rules. Our teacher was talking heavily to the students about the class rules. Our teacher was talking copy to the students about the class rules, or our teacher was talking seriously to the students about the class rules. What makes sense given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? Seriously, the root word is serious, S-E-R-I-O-U-S, -E and then the L-Y ending, Seriously, S-E-R-I-O-U-S-L-Y, seriously. Our teacher was talking seriously to the students about the class rules. Our teacher was talking seriously to the student about the class rules. Number six, she didn't know that they were blank a surprise birthday party. She didn't know that they were planning a surprise birthday party. She didn't know that they were answered a surprise birthday party. She didn't know they were lonely a surprise birthday party. She didn't know they were guest a surprise birthday party. So what makes sense given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? She didn't know they were planning or preparing, planning a surprise birthday party. P-L-A-N-N-I-N-G, planning. Make sure you double that N so the A stays ah, ah, ah. Planning, to plan. So she didn't know they were planning a surprise birthday party. She didn't know they were planning a surprise birthday party. Planning, P-L-A-N-N-I-N-G. The new student looked blank, so I went to talk to her. The new student looked planning, so I went to talk to her. The new student looked answered, so I went to talk to her. The new student looked lonely, so I went to talk to her. The new student looked guest, so I went to talk to her. What makes sense and fits in that sentence given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? Lonely. 
The new student looked lonely, so I went to talk to her. Lonely, L-O-N-E-L-Y. Lonely, L-O-N-E-L-Y. Lonely. The new student looked lonely, so I went to talk to her. She does look kind of sad in that picture, so she might be feeling alone or lonely. L-O-N-E-L-Y. Lonely. The new student looked lonely, so I went to talk to her. My dad tied his shoe with a special double blank. My dad tied his shoe with a special double blank. Would it be, my dad tied his shoe with a special double knot? Or, my dad tied his shoe with a special double heavily? Or, my dad tied his shoe with a special double copy? Or, my dad tied his shoe with a special double seriously? Not, K-N-O-T, not, K-N-O-T. Not. My dad tied his shoe with a special double knot. My dad tied his shoe with a special double knot. That way it wouldn't come undone and get tangled. Not. K N O T. Not. Which word goes with question and replied? Which word goes with question and replied? Does planning go with question and replied? Answered go with question and replied. Lonely go with question and replied. Or guessed go with question and replied. Answered. To answer, answer is the root word A-N-S-W-E-R-E-D, answered. Which word goes with question and replied? Answered. A-N-S-W-E-R-E-D. Answered. I love those cute puppies. They're so cute. A-N-S-W-E-R-E-D. Answered. Number 10. Which word goes with very slowly and with power? Which word goes with very slowly and with power? Does not go with very slowly and with power? Heavily go with very slowly and with power? Copy go with very slowly and with power? Or seriously go with very slowly and with power? What word makes sense given our picture clues and our synonyms? Heavily, if you notice that girl, she is walking very heavily and very slowly. Doesn't look like she's very happy. Heavily, H-A-E-A-V-I-L-Y, heavily. Heavily goes with very slowly and with power. Heavily, H-E-A-V-I-L-Y, heavily. Number 11, which word goes with all by yourself and sad? Oh, look at that sad teddy bear. Does planning go with all by yourself and sad? Answered, go with all by yourself and sad. Lonely, go with all by yourself and sad. Or guest, go with all by yourself and sad. You guessed it, lonely. Lonely comes from the word alone. Lonely, L-N-L-O-N-E-L-Y, lonely. That goes with all by yourself and sad. Lonely, L-O-N-E-L-Y. And lonely has the word one in it, O-N-E. When there's just one of you, may, you may feel lonely. Number 12, which word goes with imitate and duplicate? Which word goes with imitate and duplicate? Would it be not goes with imitate and duplicate? Heavily goes with imitate 
and duplicate. Copy goes with imitate and duplicate, or seriously goes with imitate and duplicate. I love the doggies in this picture. They're so cute following the baby. What are they doing? They are copying the baby and how she, the baby is crawling. Copy, C-O-P-Y. Copy, C-O-P-Y. Which word goes with imitate and duplicate? Well, that is copy, C-O-P-Y. The dogs are copying the baby's crawl. And the child is copying the dad shaving. Copy, C-O-P-Y. Which word goes with predicted and estimated? Which word goes with predicted and estimated? Would it be planning goes with predicted and estimated? Answered goes with predicted and estimated. Lonely go with predicted and estimated? Or guessed go with predicted and estimated? Guessed. To guess means you're predicting and estimating. Guessed. G-U-E-S-S-E-D. Predicted is goes with guessed. G-U-E-S-S-E-D. Guessed. Guessed goes with predicted and estimated. Guessed. Which word goes with tie? and string and rope. Which word goes with tie and string and rope? Would that be not goes with tie and string or rope? Heavily goes with tie and string or rope? Copy goes with tie and string and or rope? Or seriously goes with tie and string or rope? What makes sense given our picture clues? And the synonyms. Not. K-N-O-T. Not. Remember that K is silent. A knot goes with tie, and you have to have string or rope to make a knot. K-N-O-T. Not. Not goes with tie and string or rope. Fifteen. Which word goes with preparing and arranging? Which word goes with preparing and er arranging? Does planning go with preparing and arranging? Answered go with preparing and arranging. Lonely go with preparing and arranging. Or guest go with preparing and arranging. Planning. When you plan, you are preparing and you are arranging things. Planning goes with preparing and arranging. Planning. P-L-A-N-N-I-N-G. Planning. Make sure you double that N so the A stays short. Planning goes with preparing and arranging. Number 16. Which word goes with not joking and sincerely? Which word goes with not joking and sincerely? Does not go with not joking and sincerely? Heavily go with not joking and sincerely? Copy go with not joking and sincerely? Or seriously goes with not joking and sincerely? Seriously, to be serious means you are not joking and you are sincere. Not joking and sincerely is seriously. The root word is serious. Serious, S-E-R-I-O-U-S, -E and then L-Y. Seriously goes with not joking and sincerely. All right, it's time to check your work. Number one, 
heavily, number two, guessed, number three, copy, number four, answered, number five, seriously, number six, planning, number seven, lonely, number eight, not, number nine, answered, number 10, heavily, number 11, lonely, number 12, copy, number 13, guest, number 14, not, number 15, planning, number 16, seriously. If you need to make any changes, this is a good time to push pause, make your corrections, and when you're done, push play to rejoin the lesson. Nice work, you've mastered your vocabulary words. At the top of your paper, I want you to reflect on your learning. Um, our learning target was, I can use pictures and context clues to fill in the word that best fits each sentence. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily selected all the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Or would you give yourself a three? I was able to select most of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Or would you give yourself a two? I was able to select some of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Or one, I was not able to select any of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. So how do you think you did? Write your reflection, four, three, two, or one. Thank you everyone for reviewing the vocabulary words and sentences with me. Have a great day.